Hi, I'm Steve Tucker, Managing Director of Valuit, and welcome to this video on depreciation. Really what Valuit is about is about helping you to achieve more from your property investment. As New Zealand's most experienced depreciation experts will help you to minimise your tax liabilities, in turn maximising the return you get for your investment, and above all else, creating greater cash flow. While property investment is a fantastic way to increase your personal wealth, many investors never fully realise the potential returns that property can offer. Value is here to help you get maximum benefits from your investment. We'll help you to achieve this through maximising the depreciation you get through dividing your investment property into all of the various IRD depreciation categories. This ensures your tax liabilities are kept to a minimum. I hope you enjoy the video. So before we get into the detail of depreciation, just a little bit of an overview on Valuit. Valuit Asset Appraisals Limited is New Zealand's only nationwide property depreciation specialists. I personally established the company back in 1998 and have specialised in the area of depreciation since. The team at Valuit have the knowledge and expertise to help you as an investor achieve maximum returns on your investment. And really what we're about is helping you to navigate your way through the depreciation apportionment and more importantly IRD requirement. So to depreciation. Depreciation is a tax allowance for the wear and tear on your investment property. It's claimed as an expense against your rental income. Now the great thing is, is that it's a non-cash expense. It's, it's an expense that occurs that you're not physically having to pay the money out for. So it gets claimed against your income. And obviously with depreciation, the greater the depreciation claim, the less tax you pay. So in recent years, there's been changes to the depreciation regulations. And unfortunately, this has left many uh, investors and professionals with the false impression that you can no longer claim depreciation. This is not correct. Depreciation is all about cash flow. There's two main benefits of having a specialised value at apportionment, and these are firstly maximising your depreciation, and secondly reducing the risk of IRD penalties. So by splitting the purchase price of your investment property into all of the various depreciation categories which are set by IRD, what we're aiming to do is to increase your depreciation claim. Anyone can increase it, really the aim is to maximise your depreciation. Many investors do claim nominal depreciation and often this is based on the value of chattels that might be assessed as part of a registered land and buildings valuation. Um, that's generally assessed for finance purposes and will not maximise the depreciation claimable by you as an investor. So if we have a look at the breakdown, there's three main asset classes that should be included in an apportionment for depreciation. And these are firstly land, which is non-depreciable. Secondly is the building structure. Now this was changed back in April 2011. Previously you were able to claim depreciation on the building structure and this is no longer depreciable. And the third and final category is the chattels and building fit out. Now these items generally depreciate at anywhere from 8% through to 60%. Chattels is the, is the first category that we utilise for depreciation of rental properties and this includes items such as carpets, blinds, stoves, light shades, etc. And the second category that we use is generally the building fit out category and this includes assets such as air conditioning units, handrails, fences, etc. So these assets that I'm talking about here are just a small sample of the various assets that, that you can separate out from the building structure for depreciation purposes. And by applying the correct depreciation rates, which are specified by RD, what we're doing is maximising your depreciation claim and therefore obviously maximising your cash flow. Now cash flow for investors is pretty key early on in the, in the first few years of ownership. And with depreciation, using what we call a diminishing value depreciation rate, it will give you higher depreciation in the early years of ownership when, when cash flow is key. So if we have a look at some examples here, the first example I've got is a 60-year-old uh, Auckland-based property that's undergone really just minor, minor refurbishment. 
So with a value at report, we might have a breakdown such as land 245 approximately, building at 58,000 approximately, fit out and chattels are around $13,000, giving a, a total um, breakdown of 315,000. Now this 315 will match the purchase price of the property because depreciation is an apportionment. So depreciation in year one, we've got around 16 or 17,000, uh, sorry, $1,700 and total depreciation over five years of just um, just around six and a half thousand dollars now if we have a look at the next example this is a, a new property of average quality in Auckland now I've, I've used a, a property of a similar value obviously this is a fairly low value property for Auckland as it sits at the moment so total purchase price of 340,000 with land of around 125,000 building structure of around 163 and fit out and chattels of around thirty four and a half thousand dollars now depreciation in year one is around eight and a half thousand dollars and total depreciation over five years um, of 23,000. Now this is obviously substantially higher than the previous example. Now with depreciation, really the newer the property, the higher your depreciation levels are going to be. And, and this makes sense, obviously with a new property such as this one, depreciation hasn't occurred and we're looking at all those items at their, at their new cost. Now with this level of depreciation here, um, our fee really is recovered within a couple of months of, um, of claiming the depreciation. So it's something that really is worthwhile doing. So in summary, depreciation is all about giving you as the investor greater cash flow. And as I mentioned earlier, with, with depreciation and using the diminishing value approach, it's all about giving you maximum cash flow benefits in those early years of ownership. I hope you've enjoyed the video.